Hey there, welcome to this new security tutorial. So today we're going to see together what the assign a temp password issue is, how to find the temporary password in the front end in our browser, um, and then we'll go into securing this workflow, so how to make it secure. Um, I just created a sample bubble page there where I ask for the user I want to reset the password off, and then I need to click a button to assign a new password to that user. Uh, let's dig a little bit into this workflow. So that's the normal way people normally build it on Bubble, and we'll see why this is wrong and how we could do it better and in a secure way. So the first step of this workflow is actually to assign a temp password to a user. That's the main action of the workflow. Uh, and I need to retrieve the user uh, via the email I just entered here. So what I do here is I query all my users and I just take the one that matches my inputs, the value inside my inputs. Uh, I assign a temp password to that user and then I send him an email. So the address will be the input and I just say him, hey, your new password is specifying the result of step one. So this is really important because uh, this result of step one will give us the password that has been generated randomly. And then I just reset the inputs. So let's preview my page and see what happens if I take, for example, Victor's at flutz.eu account. So uh, let me paste this here and assign a temporary password. I will just open the Chrome Inspector here and go into the Network tab. And I just filter here with XHR requests only. And when I click assign a new pass, a temporary password, we'll see where the problem is. So. If I see four new outgoing requests here in my in my network tab, let's go into the first one and dig a little bit in the answer. Step result, return value. And here we can see the randomly assigned password to my user. So that's the problem because um, right now I don't even need access to that email inbox. I just retrieved the temporary password from here, from my browser without even being logged in. So that's a problem because if I want to reset an admin account, for example, I can just reset an, the password of an account with a lot of rights on the application, then retrieve the password, log in as that user with my new password, and go to private dashboards or admin pages only. So you, I think you know what I mean. But the problem we're doing here is that we are using this action, assign a temporary password to a user in the front end, which means it being executed on the page. We don't want that. General rule, everything that has to do with authentication, password, or security has to be done on the back end side of your application. So how to do it on your back end side, that's what we're gonna see right now. So we'll have to go to settings, API, and check that box to enable work I workflow API and back end workflow. And then we'll go to back end workflow here. We'll create a new back end workflow that we'll call um, assign uh, temp password, for example, uh, that we don't need to expose to expose as a public API workflow because it's going to be triggered from inside of the application only. And we'll, see, we'll send here the email. And now what we can do is just replicate exactly what we've done on the front end, but just doing it on the back end. So uh, assign a temporary password to a user. We're going to do the same, do a search for user where email equals the email sent in the parameter. And I'll take the first item. And then here I can send him an email to that, uh, to that email here saying, your new password is result of step one. And this is secure because uh, no one will have access to the result of step one of the action running in the backend of your app. So what we need to do here is just now fix the front end so we won't do all that stuff, all that step one and step two. We won't do it in the front end. We'll do it, we'll schedule an API workflow and it's assigned time password. Schedule date, we want it right now. And the email will be the input, input user value. So that will work, that will, that will make it secure. Uh, I cannot try it right now because I don't have the paid plan to run a backend workflow, but it will work, you can be sure of it. So that's it, thanks for watching.